What's up Foresters, I am Legend Gamer here and welcome back to the Forest Season 1 playthrough. Uh, it's episode 4. Uh, in this episode we are going to be, we're going to need to start thinking about uh, fortifying our base. Now to do that we're going to need a lot of logs. Um, we can cut the tree down with the plain axe but um, I think we're going to be better off going to get the modern axe. So yeah in this episode we're going to be heading out to the main cannibal camp to get the modern axe um so whilst we're heading over there hang on let me take some food with me so we don't know how long we're going to be so this is all dry here it's lovely uh, might as well have a little snack to eat now eh? there we go we can get our energy and stamina up um so whilst we're heading over there um i just want to um apologize if you've watched my last episode, episode three, um, I changed my um, microphone USB into, uh, I put it into a different slot and um, apparently that slot's not working because um, there was no audio whatsoever. Um, so yeah, just, just gonna run through that. We, um, I showed you how to um, get your strength and stamina up. Um, so at the end of this video, um, I'm going to uh, show you guys again, just so that you've got some um, some audio. Uh, I'll hopefully help you guys to understand what else did we do. Uh, we went on a hunt. We didn't really miss much there, just plenty of food. Uh, we hunted some rabbits and some lizards with um, our bow. Um, or we picked up some arrows as well, we got some modern arrows. Um, but we failed to collect a deer, so yeah, we are going to need to go um, and find a deer soon because we're going to need um, the deer skin. Uh, so yeah, let's. Uh, we're just coming up on the main cannibal camp here, just at the top of this hill. Oh, that was right. We also made the um, stick back, so we can collect more sticks now. We've got eight in there at the moment. We was able to carry ten before. Um, Carry up to um, up to twenty now. So yeah, there we go. Let's go and pick up the, um, that, the red paint. And we just head on straight over to the uh, cave entrance. Uh, now, when we go down into the cave, uh, we are going to encounter some cannibals. They're the uh, blue or grey kind of cannibals. Um, so they are a little bit more trickier than the, uh, the normal cannibals that we've been fighting so far. Um, so yeah, I'm sure it'll be fun. Nah, I'm gonna leave that lizard alone. You can uh, we'll let him survive. Uh, the thing is, if we um, stop gathering meat now, by the time we get back to to our base, it's gonna be um, it's gonna have spoiled. So yeah, here we are. Um, the main cannibal cave entrance. Uh, so this is the cave we went to before. We got the map and compass. I think that was episode two. Um, so yeah, we've not been down anywhere past here yet. So there we go. Just gonna head straight down here. There is only one way we can go here. I think you can just jump down that one, uh, just to be safe. Here we go. Climb down the road. Yeah, just keep heading straight in this cave. Uh, there we go. We have a friend. It's not spotted us yet. Let's. Uh, yeah. Down? Yeah, he's down. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Any more? Does he have any more friends? No. So yeah, as you go down, you'll see there's um, there's a barricade just there, and we want to stick to the left of that. Uh, there is a, uh, another way further down there, but we want to go towards the left. 
to pick up the, uh, the modern axe. I think there's some more cannibals just up here. So what we'll do is we shall put down our friend in a minute. He's praying as well. Uh, another headshot coming. Boop. Oh, oh no. Missed the headshot. There's three arrows and he's down. Yeah. Okay. Now let's um, harvest these guys, get some bows from them, shall we? Uh, just put a, a small fire down. Basic fire, that's it. to make sure I'm not placing this down the water again. So six bones uh, harvested from each level. So six bones for um, a bone armor, so we'll be able to get another three bone armor here. Is he on the fire? No, he's not on the fire, so there we go. It'll just take a few seconds for them to get the bones out of them. Um, so now I think um, the modern axe is just yeah, that's it where that skull lamp is, just down there. That's how we're not far now. Don't burn the, oh, just as I say. Now we're not going to need this fire again, so I'm going to destroy it. The, um, the entrance to the uh, modern axis just down here. Slide down the moat. And, and just through here, look. I see lots of loot. Yeah, 
some modern arrows here, look. Some cloth. There we have it. The modern axe. Some tape. And some more drinks there. Let's drink a couple of them. So we can pick some more up. Some rope. Some more tape. Paintbrush there, there's more red paint. We've already got red paint on. Yeah, we'll still be on. Uh, uh, these um, brown, I think it's supposed to be like a Louis Vuitton design. Um, those chests, uh, those cases, they hold clothing items, different clothing items. Um, it's up to you guys whether you collect them. I'm going to leave them. Let's make our way out of here. back at the, um, the rope that takes us out. Uh, just be on your guard in case there's any um, cannibals outside. Uh, as I say, this is the main cannibal camp, so um, highly likely to encounter some friends. Uh, nope. Uh, looks like looks like there's no friends here. Okay. Uh, so let's head back towards camp and put the fire away now towards camp and we can start uh, building up our base, chopping some trees down in there. So here we are guys, we're, um, we're back by the, the lake here. Um, I just want to show you a little path across. Um, as you can see, we're, we've still got red paint on. Um, if you see where these plants are growing out of the water, that's actually shallow water there. So to the left and to the right is deeper water. Um, if you cross there, you will um, lose your paint. So there we go, we just walk straight through there. Uh, as you see, we've still got our paint on. little tip there <coughs> excuse me uh, pick up these aloe right so we're coming up back onto our base now uh, there's some blueberries here so what we're going to do is get a pouch out uh, don't know if you can see no, it's quite it's quite bright isn't it let me move around here um, you see, if you walk up to the uh, blueberry bush with your pouch out, it will um, have the pouch sign there. You press and hold, um, you'll be able to collect the, uh, the berries rather than eat them. Uh, yeah, as you see, uh, there's blueberries there, look. Uh, you can do that with blueberries, blackberries. Uh, you can even do it with the poisonous ones if you want to make some um, poisoned arrows. So here we are back at base. Let's, uh, let's get our modern axe out and show that off. Look, oh, up in here. Oh, there's a seagull, I think. Let's 
someone here? Doing naughties in here. <laughs> <No. laughs> That's a bit weird, wouldn't it? Ah, here we go. Here we go. We've got some friends. Uh, yeah, let's get our bow out. Oh, they're praying again. Oh, no. See if, let's see if I can get a two in one. Oh, no. I missed him. Oh, oh right in the nuts. Did I disturb him, did I? Yeah. Oh, I killed him in the air. Let's get these feathers out. Killed him where he was airborne, did you see that? Um Yeah, we might as well. Let's bury him. It's actually calm in a monotone. One. That's a stupid bird again, no. Uh, so yeah, what I would like to do, because um, this um, this pond here is a it's a source of food and water for me. Um, so I'd like to try and sort of build walls and defences kind of through here um, and I've got this cliff here um, I don't think they can climb up here um, so I'd like to almost do almost like a like a crescent moon shape um, incorporating this pond over here so that I can access food and water without worrying about being attacked. Um, so then the wall will come all the way around here. There, and then back over to somewhere. Somewhere around here. And we can have a little doorway. We we'll probably have these huts inside as well. Um, and then back around. Um, but that's going to require a lot of logs. I intend to use the defensive walls. Um, uh, uh, so these defensive walls here, uh, I'll just give you a, a bit of an idea. Uh, so if we start that one there. Uh, mind you, I could keep these out, couldn't I? That wouldn't. be so um, so expensive yeah, I'd need to come let's cancel that uh, let's come a little bit further over this way good let's pop that one down there uh, come down to there Just go around the edge of the perimeter of the, um, of the pond here. Uh, see if we can keep that within our base. Yeah, let's have that blueberry bush in as well. Yeah, if we can keep our base within all of that, um, we won't have to worry about uh, going out to catch food and water missiles, then, isn't it? Keep that block outside because uh, inside rather, um, because they might be able to get up onto the rock and sort of jump over. Uh, where are we going? Uh, I've got a bit off track here. Uh, yeah, just just uh, something like that, probably. 
that's that's how many that's two hundred and sixty eight logs. <laughs> oh, divide that by four, see how many trees we'd need. So yeah, that that's way too many logs. Um we're probably not gonna incorporate that pond then. But, um we might be able to sort of cut across across here so that it's not so many uh, so many logs and, and have have a doorway maybe here. So yeah, what we're going to do now is um, I'm just going to show you um, what I was talking about with the um, athleticism and stamina. Um, so let's um, let's equip a bow. And we'll go to the book. Um, we need to go to step. So you see my strength is 23.1. I'm just going to take the bone out. Let's put the lighter away, you don't need that. Um, notice how the bone's not really taking much of my stamina um, and it's regenerating itself. Um, so yeah, just by swinging this bone, uh, you'll see that our, our strength will go up. Oh, I don't even see the plane over there. That's our plane crash site, and the lights are still on by the looks of it. It's yeah. funny, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's have another little look in the book. Let's see our strength's up to 23.4 now. Um, so, yeah, that's how you get your strength up. Um, I'll show you how to do your athleticism now. Um, literally, you just go down to the water, uh, and what I do is I'll just walk into the water. And this gets deeper and deeper. Then I tend to come up right about um breath of fresh and back down. And this is what I tend to do most nights, just to build up my um, strength and athleticism. It is a little bit of a hack, um, but you know, anything that will help in the game, I'm willing to share with you guys. So uh, yeah, I'll just do this one more time, and then you'll see. Should have gone up by uh, point two. There we are. Up. And yeah, and yeah. There we go. Twenty-five. There's a nice little, um, nice little hack there for you to get your strength and athleticism up. Um, anyway, that's the end of episode, guys. So um, if you did like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I am Legend. Peace out.